welcome to another episode of Counting Frames with Chenless. Today, we're going to be looking at Smoke's low overhead mix-up. For those of you guys who are not familiar with how this works, I have these clips pulled up in my editor, which scrolls at 60 frames per second. Since we do not have access to in-game frame data at this time, we're going to be manually counting the startup frames of both of his stacks. While this method is not 100% accurate, for the purpose of this video, it's close enough. Let's get right into it. Starting with the first frame of the startup, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So it is not until frame 31 that the attack actually connects. This would appear to be a relatively slow overhead attack. Now, it's worth mentioning that it's not always super clear what the first startup frame actually is. For example, is this just the character moving back, or is that actually the first frame of the move? Or is this crouching position the first frame of the move? So the move could be faster than 31 frames. Also worth mentioning is that realistically, you're not going to be reacting to the move from this frame. Here, it just looks like Smoke is crouching. It isn't really obvious that he's doing this overhead attack until this jumping frame, which is frame 11. So even if the move truly is 31 frames of startup, realistically, you only actually have 20 frames to react to it, which is right on the cusp of what people tend to say is react. So let's take a look at his low now. Same thing, counting from the first frame of movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And again, the move does not connect until frame thirteen. As you can see here, his low is significantly faster than his overhead. So the best method of defense may be to default to crowd blocking and standing on reaction. This was another episode of Counting Frames with Shenless. I hope you learned something from this and enjoyed it. And if you have any suggestions on what other moves you'd like to see broken down like this, please feel free to leave a comment below.